Welcome back. Let's look at the reporter's diary on CNBC TV 18. Let's now hand it over to CNBC TV 18, Shireen Bhan, who has a very special guest joining her to try and make sense of all the market action and where it's headed from now on. Shireen, over to you. Well, joining us now to make sense of what's transpiring in our markets and how our markets are likely to react to the global cues is Ramdeo Agarwal of Moti Lalo Swal Securities. Ramdeo, appreciate you joining us here on CNBC TV 18. What a 48 hours it's been after Black Monday. We've seen uh, a, a turnaround Tuesday for our markets. We've seen, of course, now the PBOC in China cut interest rates for the fifth time. Global markets are reacting positively to that piece of information. What do you make of the kind of volatility and the kind of turbulence that we've seen specifically in our markets on account of global factors? I think uh, one of the one of the issues is the the adjustment whatever is happening within china and uh, one thing is that uh, communication from there is not very smooth and uh, most of the people don't believe in what comes out from there there is always a lot of uh, confusion about what they are saying so uh, clearly uh, hard commodities soft commodity currency uh, stock markets whatever you whatever can move has moved significantly in last 5 10 days 50 days so clearly, uh, stock markets were to be affected finally, and that did mm. happen. I think technical guys they had the best call uh, so far yes. I have seen, and uh, they got it right. And uh, uh, so there is no perceptible actually change in the economics or uh, of uh, I mean of course the uh, commodity companies which are say oil company or a steel company or a, uh, or a aluminium company, zinc company. I mean these companies definitely have their fortunes uh, plummeting by the day clearly but that's a very small portion of the maybe 15 20 percent of the index but uh, broader market actually is benefiting from the lower uh, raw material prices commodity and lower prices yeah. yeah absolutely so, uh, so yeah so clearly it will be a two speed market and uh, uh, even but yesterday's fall didn't spare anybody good bad ugly small big everybody was hammered so speaking of yesterday's fall, Ramdeo, when we saw that 1600 point drop in the Sensex, there was panic on the street. I know that you've held a conference call today with your clients. What is the sense that you're getting, especially uh, given the kind of difference that we've seen with the FII sale figure yesterday, uh, the highest ever, and the DII sale uh, uh, buy figure, the highest ever? What do you make of that kind of divergence and what are you sensing now from your clients? Yeah. So. Again, the uh, uh, two points. One is that uh, uh, this is a, the largest fall I have ever seen, and yet there was no panic on the ground. I mean, at least in among our retail clients and HNIs, I don't see any panic whatsoever. In fact, we had the largest flow yesterday and even bigger today. So clearly, people are not scared and running away from the market. They are actually saying that this is a great opportunity to buy, and somehow uh, yeah. they are piling on, and uh, so much so that yesterday we couldn't stamp some of the applications. So clearly, there is a there is a uh, there is no panic among the minds of the investors. Uh, but there is this is the largest fall per se. This is a fundamental difference uh, right now, uh, as far as the behavior of the uh, investor is concerned. Second thing is that so far for last three four years, FIs were buying, domestics were selling. Now, FIs are selling and domestics are buying. So, you know, in that situation, uh, of course, when there is a one set of and both of them are pretty big. I mean, now FIs are 20-22% of the floating stock and uh, right. probably retail and domestics are 16-17%, uh, almost same size. So they can take care of each other. And uh, so uh, this uh, board of buying selling and of course FIs are far more determined, far deeper pockets and they are present mm -hmm. in all the blue chips. So clearly it will make a difference. I don't think index can move significantly upward if FIs remain bearish on India. Well, that was Shireen Bhan in conversation with Ramdev Agarwal. Time for yet another quick break. Here's what's on the other side for you. We'll